Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. The Briggs & Stratton engine flywheel puller is a dedicated tool specifically designed to detach the flywheel from the engine shaft. To access and remove the flywheel on this Briggs & Stratton engine, you will need a 5 16th inch nut driver, a 15 16th inch socket, a 5 8 inch spark plug wrench, a 10 mm socket, a 10 mm wrench, a half inch wrench, the flywheel puller, a mallet, and a torque wrench. Before you begin this procedure, make sure the engine has cooled. Use the 5 16th inch nut driver to unthread the two mounting screws, securing the air filter cover. Remove the cover and the air filter, then unthread the screws, securing the filter base. Pull the choke lever off so you can move the base out of the way. Using the 5 16th inch nut driver, unthread the two screws securing the throttle cover plate. Shift the throttle lever to the right so you can detach the plate. You can now unthread the three screws securing the blower housing using the 10 mm socket. Set the blower housing aside and detach the spark plug wire and boot from the spark plug. Use the 5 8 inch spark plug wrench to help unthread the spark plug. Confirm the engine piston is in the down position. Then insert a cord into the cylinder to prevent the piston from moving. You can now use the 15 16 inch socket and a mallet to loosen the flywheel mounting nut. Fully unthread the nut and remove the starter cup and fan. You're now ready to use the dedicated flywheel puller to detach the flywheel. Partially rethread the mounting nut on the engine shaft. Position the flywheel puller and thread the bolts into the flywheel. Use the half inch wrench to help tighten. Next. Thread the rear nuts so they're flush against the flywheel. Now tighten the front nuts until the flywheel becomes detached. Remove the puller. Unthread the nut and you can slide off the flywheel. Before you reinstall the flywheel, confirm the flywheel key is detached from the engine shaft. Position the flywheel on the shaft, then insert the flywheel key. Align the fan and the starter cup. Then thread and tighten the nut. Okay. 
Using the 15 16 inch socket on a torque wrench, torque the nut to 60 foot pounds. Remove the cord from the cylinder and rethread the spark plug. Be careful not to damage the threads by over tightening. Reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug. Now reposition the blower housing and rethread the three mounting screws. Reposition the throttle cover plate and rethread the screws. Insert the two mounting screws through the air filter base, then align the base and thread the screws into the carburetor. Replace the choke lever. With the pre-cleaner positioned in the cover, followed by the air filter with its rubber gasket facing outward, align the cover on the base and secure it with the screws. The engine should now be ready for use.